So this is a quick demo of augmenting data and uh, enriching data in Elasticsearch. And we're going to do that from data inside of Elasticsearch. You could do this with an external load, right? In my case, what I want to do is just load everything to Elasticsearch and then use its enriching capability as new data is loaded um, that it will create a relationship. You know, so typically these indexes are just, you know, a bunch of fields. In my case, it's going to be crash data for commercial vehicles, inspection data for commercial vehicles, and a list of all the commercial carriers. And in theory, the inspections and the crashes are all going to be, would be joinable in a relational database to carriers. In my case, what I'm going to do is pull over the IDs of any crashes or any inspections and may put them into many collections on the carrier. So a carrier would be like the company, the name, all that kind of stuff. And we will end up, uh, we're going to augment it anyway, because we're going to do like Fnatic, we're going to clear white space, we're going to do a bunch of other things to try and make that data more matchable, tokenize it. Um, but in addition, we're going to keep all the list, the identities of any crashes for that company and any inspections for that company. So well, what does that mean? It means we're going to initially load the crash data into an index. In our case, we use a day index and we create an alias to it. And that way, when we create data views in, in uh, Kibana or we have queries, we actually query against the alias. The alias goes against the index. Um, we're going to create um, enrichment what do you call it? Enrichment policies around this, right? And those policies will automatically create enrichment indexes and they'll populate that with enrichment index data. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, with inspections. We're going to create an inspection index. We're going to decide which field on the inspections we're going to use for enriching the carrier data. And so basically these enrichment indexes exist solely to help uh, have a pipeline merge data or an enrichment policy merge data into a common index. So we're going to load crashes with an alias and we'll have an alias. We're going to load inspections and have an alias. We're going to create many enrichment indexes that are just used for enriching other things called in through the pipeline. And then we're going to invoke a pipeline and load the carrier's data and that will and it'll have its own alias. And then we'll have the same day index that we have for that. Right now, if I were to pull forward Kibana, and I were to go to the management section and we go to the stack management, we can go look at the indexes and we can see here, the only thing I have is the doctors and clinicians data, right? There's also an alias pointed to this, which we'll look at later. Um, and, then, and then we have uh, some discovery areas. It turned out that I had created some data views against these data sets earlier. And because they no longer exist, um, even though the data views there, the indexes don't exist, we get all these errors that pop up pointing out that the data views against invalid data. So let's go back to the indexes real quick, just to make sure. And we can see we have no interesting pipelines either. Um, and I'll talk about why that's interesting. Okay, so we're going to create three new indexes in here in a minute. And then there's going to be a couple hidden enrichment indexes. So let me go back to the code. Um, and the way this flow is going to work, let me see if I can make this bigger. Um, the way this flow is going to work, uh, basically what we do is we have a, we have four steps in Entotopia. Uh, one is to load the crashes data. One is to load the inspections data. One is to set up the carrier's enrichment po and the policies on those other two data sets and create a pipeline. And then the fourth step would be to actually load the carrier's data and use the pipeline so that it can pull in the enriched data and that will populate the carrier's index, and that carrier's index has an alias. Right. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just look at the code config or the config for this a little bit, and then I'll run it. Um, you can see here that in the DOT commercial, so this will be a target, a commercial DOT commercial target under like the Medicare provider target. And we can see that we have a configuration file here, and it looks like there are four steps, right? In the configuration directory, every direct subdirectory is a step. And we can also see we have four steps, but in data, we've only got three. And that's because we load the crashes data, the inspections data, and the carriers data. But we have an extra step where we prep the uh, enrichment policies in the pipeline so that the third index can be populated and enriched as it's ingested. Otherwise, we could do this all on the outside, right? Um, so uh, you know what? Let's just look real quick at the configuration for this thing. And you can see that there's a couple steps, crashes, inspections, carriers, ingestion, and carriers. That actually lines up with the names of the configs, no big deal. 
and nothing else interesting there, right? So we're gonna create an index, map an index, populate an index, create an index, add a mapping, populate an index, create enrichment policies, create pipelines. And then on the last index, we're gonna create an index, we're gonna create a mapping in there. And you know, that would be like the phonetics and all that other stuff. And then we're gonna, um, and then we're gonna populate that index. And in this case, uh, we're gonna populate that index using uh, the pipeline. And these other ones we will have uh, ingested directly just calling the API against the index rather than against the pipeline. And the Python APIs do that pretty well, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so what does that mean? We need to go run this thing. Let me see if I have this queued up here. All right, so in this case, what we're doing is we're just gonna run, I, you know, we could do all this through the GUI and there's a bunch of ways to do this. So I'm just gonna use the loader tools that we have here. And in this case, the project is gonna be called DOT commercial. And in this case, I'm just gonna do, um, what's the first step? Actually, I'm just gonna run one step crashes. Step equals crashes. Okay, so in this case, we should actually have a crashes index now that I just created. Let's do a reload. And you can see here that we have a crashes 2023-416, which is the day of the video, because uh, this is the day index and I loaded 50,000. We actually got 46,000. If you watch this, sometimes the number will go up because um, it'll take a while for things to ingest. And so that's cool, right? And so uh, if we go back and we go to the data view. Right, um, we could, I'm just going to show you that how this works. So I'm going to create a new data view. And you can see here we have the crashes index and we have the crashes alias. And that way, if you create the data view against the alias, even if we keep replacing the index, you'll have kind of a zero downtime thing there we will just move the alias, right. So in this case, um, and, and there's just a bunch of fields in here right, that are in this. And the other ones still don't exist. Carriers doesn't exist because we didn't run that phase. And so this looks pretty good. Let me go back to the index and we're there. And we can see here that we have the crash 2023-0416 and the crashes dash five zeros and a one is the alias. Okay, so that's cool. So we've loaded one of the index. Um, now I know what I can do. I can actually run this again with inspections. That's not going to take very long to load 50,000. There's actually like 5 million entries in there. It takes, a, you know, like four minutes or something, three minutes to load. If we hit reload here, we can now see that we have the inspections index. Also, if we click on it, we can get in a view what the settings and the mappings and the statistics are for that, which we don't care about right now. If we go back to the data pipe, the discovery area, uh, now we can also pull up inspections and you can see that inspections does work here. All right, so now we're gonna do the enrichment part of this um, real quick, and we're gonna create the enrichment indexes and the pipeline. So in this case, I think that thing is called carriers. What is that thing called? Crashes, inspections. Oh, carriers ingestion. So in this case, we're gonna do carriers ingestion. What that really does is it just loads, creates the policies and the pipeline. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so if we were to go back here to the discovery zone, we can look at the ingestions, right? Now, if we conclude the hidden index, one of the things you'll see here is you can see that enrichment, um, an enrichment policy index, that enrichment policy indexes were created, right? And, and so we have enrichment carrier. So what happens every time you create an enrichment policy, it knows that enrichment might be used against somebody else. It creates an index just to support that. And so you can see here that we have um, different policies that were created. And we also have an ingestion pipeline, which is this one here, carrier ingestion pipeline. And if you click on it, you can see that it's actually gonna run two of the, use two of the enrichment indexes. It's gonna pull in some data from the inspections the joined down against the DOT number, and it's going to pull in some of the crash data, right? Those are the two processors. And you can actually go and look at the policies. Where is that? You know what? I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to pretend I know where it is. Okay. So if we go back to here, I can run the last step. 
and then we're out of here. And so in this case, we're gonna just do carriers. You can actually just run these with no steps, it'll run them all. So we're gonna load the 5,000. These are actually gonna be enriched, I'll show you what that means. So this is actually using the pipeline somewhere in here. It says ingesting with pipeline, right? Um, and so the other ones had all been ingested native, uh, direct with the API. So now if we come back here and here we reload, uh, we can actually see that we have the carriers index in here and it's got its 50,000 in it. It's really weird, the numbers. I don't know what this 46,000 crash is. I'll have to look at that. That's probably me using the wrong keys. Um, and then we have the ingestion pipeline, which we're not gonna look at. Um, and you can see there's also like different enrichment pipeline things anyway. Okay, so let's go look at the data. This is the last thing I'm gonna show you. Oh, my bad. We're gonna go to the discover. We're gonna drop down. I had already created. So like if you wanted to create a new, I think I showed this once before. If you create a new data view, you can create the data view against the alias or the index. So in my case, we would do like carriers, right? So I could actually set the fin index criteria and we can go against the index or the alias. If you go against the index though, and the index gets blown away, you know, you're gonna lose it. Um, so here, the only thing I really wanted to show here is um, some of these fields are moderately complicated anyway because they have a clean version where they've been cleaned up and weird characters have been removed. They have the keyword version of that field and we have a phonetic and that way you can try and match two names, DBA does business as names, uh, that match um, each other phonetically because they might have been misspelled um, in one of the records. Um, the only other thing here is you can see the inspections DOT inspecting. This is the enriched data from inspections, and this is the enriched data from crashes. I put them in a complex, but you could do it any way you want. But the point is, now we took data from other index and we enriched this index, making it easier to search. And that's what this is all about. And this sample data, this data all comes from the government uh, that I pulled in. And in here, we have a script that'll download the carrier data into the data directory, and then you can run this. And I hope that's interesting. And I hope you can it you know, gives you an idea how to do enrichment policies and pipelines and bring data in from other index into a primary index that you want to search against. Have a great day.